And you shit's know? gonna happen. Yeah, shit's Horrible gonna happen. Ha- shit's gonna weird, happen. Weird, weird shit's gonna happen. I, I was watching this uh, documentary today, the new James Fox documentary, Jamie. Um, he's coming on next week. It's a new James Fox documentary about um, a, a UFO landing in Brazil in 1996. Holy shit, it's incredible. It's inc- I had no idea that there's this t- there's a city called Virginia in, in Brazil, and in 1996, according to everyone who was there according to medical records of people who were there according to like they blocked off the military came in cordoned off the area they recovered a crashed ufo and there was living creatures that people came in contact with and one of them was this tiny little thing that this guy carried and he carried it to wherever they were going to examine it and when he carried it he got whatever was on its skin it had like a slippery kind of skin it got into his body and infected him and he wound up with this horrible general infection and he wound up dying his body shut down his immune system shut down his body didn't know what the fuck to do with this alien thing that he was interacting with and it's there's real records of this guy contacting this thing grabbing it carrying it in all these people witnessed it and then this guy winds up with this insane infection shortly there afterwards that's all documented too. all of his medical records I find it more fascinating that there are groups of people that don't believe these stories that this is a fascinating I mean you got to be an idiot to believe but this one's particularly fascinating but the bubble that we live in where you have not witnessed a uh, you know I'm talking about you being somebody who's listening here because you haven't seen a spaceship because you haven't been abducted because you didn't read this story to just uh, convince yourself that it doesn't exist yes and to uh, shit on somebody else who has facts like you got to tune in to what to listen to that episode well, because unless it happens to you how the fuck could you ever believe that right really I mean really I, yes you could but I'm saying you know what I'm saying I'm t- from uh, a pessimist or a, a cynics point of view like, well, why would you? Come on, that's nonsense. Because, because it's because ridiculous it has, to but, believe but that. But it hasn't happened to you. See, if it hasn't happened to you, you think it's not possible. Like, you go, you, you you're can only born. relate. The right. fact that you were born and you had children and you are living here and just functioning and living in this. Crazy. It, this is fucking nuts. Yeah, this is nuts. This is nuts. Yeah. But this is accepted. Why yeah. is this any nuttier or less nuttier than believing that in the, we are just this little dot. Yeah that this doesn't exist other places and they have the facility to make their way here from time to time. It's just a lack of irrefutable evidence. There's a lack of something where everybody could point to it. Like if if you say I believe in the Golden Gate Bridge, I'm like, cut the fuck out of here, Howard. It's not a bridge across the ocean. That's so stupid. How would they even do that? And then you take me to the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm like, holy shit, it's a real thing. I see it. But if I had no idea what it was and you were just explaining it to me, maybe I'm I'm a moron. I'm like, I don't believe it. I never saw a bridge. I've seen a UFO. But when Have you really? Yeah. What'd you see? I saw, and I was with my wife, and it was right there. I was driving. I was in Toronto. I'm, I'm from Toronto, Canada. I was in my 20s, and we were driving down a country road, and I thought, oh, my God, there's a giant accident way up ahead because I saw this this line of uh, like a half a mile wide of all these flashing lights. So I thought there was a, like a lineup of ambulances or you know first responders or whatever. And as I got closer and closer... That whole line of lights, quicker than I can fathom, just shot into the sky and disappeared. And I turned to my wife and I go, did, did you, I saw something. Did you see something? She goes, the lights? And I go, yeah. And we've never seen anything since. We went, uh, this is way before the internet, but we called the airport. We, did, we called uh, the military. Has there been any reports? We didn't see anything on the news, but we both saw it. What could you ex- describe the lights? A, 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 a straight line of lights that looked like they were probably, you know, uh, a quarter of a mile wide. You know, like it was, it was, this was a giant line of lights. So I thought there was all cars lined up. You know, on on a road, we were in a. There was no street lights or anything. It was above. When I realized what it was, it's probably about thirty or forty feet above the road. You know, the, I, when when I think about where I first saw the lights, they couldn't be on top of a car because there's no car that that stands yeah. that high, or trucks, or a train. And then the point was that how fast that I saw the, the how quickly I saw this line of lights just shoot into the atmosphere and disappear. Like, I've never seen anything move that at, at that velocity. How fa- far away was it when you when it shot away? See, 
because I, it was night, it could have been 10 miles. It could have been one mile. I don't know how big it was because I didn't actually see the object. I saw mm. a line of lights. Right. So I don't know how far I was from the lights. But I do know, if you called my wife right now, she would describe the exact same thing. She was sitting in the car with me. Mm. We're both not, you know, UFO enthusiasts. We, I don't know that I didn't have a non-belief. I just just never thought of it. We saw this weird thing that has never been explained to us. I think it would be ignorant of me to not think that this was something beyond our scope as far as what we have on mm. Earth. So I've seen that. And I've read a lot, like you have, of other people who are seemingly trustworthy, educated people who have seen similar things, who have had... It's not always just the the kook in the cornfield said, uh, you know, I saw a UFO. If there are people in science, educated yes. people who have seen it. So why, Fighter pilots. Fighter pilots, yeah. uh, uh, commercial uh, commercial pilots. Did you see the most recent one? There was a woman who was a model who was on a plane. Did you see that, Jamie? It just got released today. Um, she got what they're calling some of the most compelling UFO video ever. She's flying in a plane, and this silver thing, they freeze-framed it. It looks like a flying disc. A model saw this? A model. She's just in a plane and filming out the window. And they had seen this thing, apparently, and she's trying to film it, and it shoots by the plane. You know, and I've talked to many pilots who have recounted seeing things yeah. and not being able to explain it. It's so like, and we just brush that off, you know? Oh, here Watch it is. This. So play this. I mean, what in the fuck is that? So look at that, and look at that line. It's up on a 45-degree angle. That is, and the speed that it's kind of moving is the speed that I saw something in only at night. But you have to take into consideration that this plane is moving in a specific direction, and the UFO is moving in the opposite direction. So it's so faster? it looks much faster than it actually is. So even if that was like a Mylar balloon, if you're passing it that fast, see, that thing... I mean, I don't know what you're getting there. Like, is that distorted? Like, when they're showing that 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 image, that to me looks like it's from another fucking world. Like, wh if that's really what it looks like and it's actually flying like that, but I don't know if that's a distortion based on the freeze frame of this. You know, you also have to take into consideration what kind of phone does she have? How fast is the camera? Is it is, is it able to pick things? Because there's things that can happen with uh, artifacts, with digital artifacts, and things move very quickly. You get like weird lines that might not, but that looks very distinct. Like but at a certain that, point, play it again. There's been so many sightings. Yeah. You've got to be an idiot to believe. It's so fascinating, man. I love it. So whatever this thing is, I mean, uh, if I was a cynic, I'd say, oh, it's a fucking balloon. But it is...